Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. Today I'd like to do some trimming on this, um, well it's a difficult name to pronounce, uh, it's some kind of ash I think, I'm, I'm not, I'm still not 100% sure, but yeah, um, it could be, uh, I don't know. So um, this tree, uh, I, I got it for my birthday a few years ago, I think three or four years. And it's still in the same pot. I did uh, repot it and put it in, uh, well, some better soil, you know. Most of these trees come in a uh, kind of uh, garden compost and, well, it's not really, really what you would uh, expect the tree to grow best in. Uh, and I also changed the angle a bit, so now the tree is leaning forward, which is a little better. And the tree had uh, branches all over the place, but not always where, where you want uh, a branch. And where you want a branch, most of the time it's uh, at the outer side of a uh, bend. Same here, I did not have any branch here, so I grafted this one. I'm not sure if this graft is already uh, good now, so I'm just leaving the thing uh, to grow. and. Maybe I'll cut it back next year and if it doesn't work well I'll have to uh, find another solution because I really need a branch there. But this is an approach graft and these are, it's a good technique but the problem is it sometimes takes a lot of time and it's not always easy. And another problem with this specific tree is that it is not really bendable, so it breaks. And that's, um, that's a problem when you want to do a graft because you have, to, uh, you have to grab a branch and bring it at the place where you want it to graft. So, okay, another thing that I maybe don't think it's clear on camera because it's quite high. I also uh, grafted the, a new top. So here you can uh, still see the raffia. And uh, I put a little wire here so that the, the flow of the trunk uh, continues a little. This is still not grafted too. It's quite a slow grower, but I, I really need to let this thing grow for at least this season so that it thickens and that it becomes as thick, no, well not as thick, but that we have a, a transition between this and this so that it's not too obvious that the new top is, 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 is a graft. So, okay. So this tree is not really a um, naturalistic looking tree, but I like it. And uh, I think if you have a tree like that, well, there's not a whole lot you can do. You must go with the flow and you must try to um, make it as cookie cutter as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to work in pads here uh, and I'm going to start here at the uh, bottom. So we see here we have a quite a thin branch and this is the lowest branch. So the the thing is, that's not very realistic. If this is to be the lowest branch, it should also be the thickest. So, in order to let that uh, happen, there's only one thing you can do. You must let it grow. So I'm not going to touch that. At the back here, I have a already much thicker branch. It's back and side branch. And here, so I can do quite a lot of cutting back. So this is a part that is growing up and I think I can remove that. And this is getting a little long, I think. So I'm going to remove that as well. I even think that I can take this back a little more. And I'm always looking for a branch that faces outside. 
this is also a little too high I just want to define the pads this is a little long too and here I'm going to keep this shoot pointing in that direction so I think for this branch this is good I have this long shoot here which is not only in the back but also on the side so I think I'm going to reduce it up to here which defines this pad a little better and maybe I can even cut back this little part here so what this will do now it will maybe um, allow some of the new uh, smaller branches here to fill up this space and also the thing I like to do when I uh, try to define pads is get the underside clean like so so you can now see this pad I think better yeah this is a little bit of a problem so this is supposed to be the graft and you want your graft to grow as vigorously as possible but you only want the part that is coming out of the new spot so I'm going to remove this and this now of course you can see the graft a little more which is not perfect but okay what can you do now I have a little shoot here that if this graft doesn't work but I think it's going to work might be a good candidate to try this graft again but I don't think I am going to have a problem here I think it's going to to work it's already fused here not completely at this side but it's going to be okay so I can safely remove these little shoots here like so and also the little one here okay so here of course there should be some trimming but not now first the graft then I have this branch here which is a uh, branch in the top and as you see you want the tree to become a little more rounded so this is obviously way too big so this shoot pointing right upwards I really don't need that little shoots here I want them to become a little stronger you see like this one this is where I want my best branches to be so technically I just think and I, I, I can get rid of all this whole section here that's a, a quite big cut but of course it cleans up the whole thing here and now I have to reduce all these little shoots to an outward pointing branch this is quite big but I don't need all of that this is a big cut but it's going to make a big difference so now I have a little pad here and I think that's gonna be it for this branch no maybe reduce just a little bit here so probably the newer growth will start from here which is much better I just have a few branches growing inwards so you don't want that it's it's all a waste of energy if you don't want to keep it so you must get rid of it when it's young okay I have a little branch here at the back which is well placed but I have a better one here and this one is far more mature so I will reduce this one and it's also going to cause some swelling here and this is already a big portion so 
So I'm going to keep this one, which is a nice back branch. This is nice. This is becoming a little too long and I want it to become more dense and less long. Same here. So I'm bringing back the whole tree. I should not touch this one, of course, because this is the graft for the new top. But I can reduce a little bit of the branches there. And then there's a strange branch coming from here, straight in this direction. I don't want that. And so this clears up a little bit this portion too. This branch looks nice, but it is a part of this graft, so it's, it will not be there. Same here. So there's really no use of keeping that. I'd like this top to grow a little more. And then I have the branch here in the back that is a little bit too long, so I can reduce that. I'd like to do some directional pruning on this part here, but I must not because, yeah, it's a, it's a graft and it's supposed to grow. So I think that's, that's going to be it. Maybe just this one. Okay. So I'm going to come in a little closer with the camera now and try to give you a better view on what has been done here. Um, it's a little sad that this one is so small, but okay, it'll grow. Oh, I have a little shoot here right at the junction of two branches, which is not helping at all. Okay, so let's come in for a little uh, zoom. So I did cut back quite a lot today and uh, well, yeah, well it had to be, it has to be done sometimes, you know, and I think the tree looks kind of nice from a distance, but a little close up is always nice. So let's do that. So here we have the, the root base, which is not bad, um, still working on the roots of course. But the roots that I have now are quite radial. Some could be improved, some could be replaced, but that's, that's not too bad, I think, at this, uh, at this point. Uh, and then we have a nice curve here, a good first branch, uh, which should thicken a little, not too much, maybe just this growing season and then I will take care of it and just remove this part probably. And you see we have a whole lot of new little shoots here that can take over, so that's very good. We have the back branch here, which is pulling with a wire to the uh, branch here. Little wire. Yeah. This is the graft. As you see in the back, the graft is not perfect. I'm going to zoom in a little. So this is the graft from the back. And there's still a little wire there. And then from the front, I hope it is on camera. No, it is not. It's here and here you can see that there is already some fusion. So that's going to be quite okay this year so probably next spring I'll I'll cut it just right here and then I'll have a new branch if it works then we continue here the trunk nice flow to it I, I really like this branch I like the way it comes out of the trunk it goes up and then it goes down that's what we should have at, uh, with the uh, well deciduous trees because this one is a deciduous it loses all its uh, leaves same here goes up a little and then we have this little guy here which is the 
which is the, the, the branch that starts like this, turns around and becomes the top. And the top is already quite high here. But the only way to make it thick is to let it grow. So this concludes the video for today. Uh, I still may do some work on the on, on the wait a second still might do some work on the, the surface here cleaning up the surface a little removing some weeds uh, applying some more moss and little things like that which uh, you can call landscaping adding some rocks and stuff like that but well this tree is not really ready for that because well it's Still a lot of uh, in, in development. So anyways, thank you for watching and see you next time.